I'm Chef David Rose, and if you're watching this video, you probably want to learn how to grill fish. Today I'm grilling the Omaha Steaks Red Snapper. It's really, really easy to perfect. Let me show you how. If you want to take a deeper dive into the Omaha Steak seafood selection and explanations on seasonings, marinating, and thawing, make sure to watch our Seafood for Beginners Getting Started guide. Snapper is only one option for a great grilling fish. There's also trout, salmon, tuna, and swordfish. They are all really good fish to grill. Snapper is great because it has a firm flesh, which holds up very nicely on the grill. It's sweet, moist, has a nutty flavor, and the skin crisp up very well when grilled. There are various methods to grill fish. Today, I'm opting for the fish basket. The fish basket lessens the likelihood for the fish falling apart and makes it a much more easier and enjoyable grilling experience. What you're gonna need is the fish basket, a fish spatula, and a spray bottle for our oil or vinegar. My snapper is already thawed out and come to room temperature on the counter for about 15 to 20 minutes. I've preheated my grill to 400 degrees direct heat. You wanna make sure to blot the filet dry with paper towels on both sides. I rub each filet with olive oil, season with salt and pepper, and smoked paprika. You wanna make sure to spray the fish basket with cooking spray or a high temperature smoke point oil. We're laying the snapper filet skin side down first. Then you wanna place at least two small sprigs of fresh thyme on the flesh side. Top with two crushed garlic cloves and one lemon slice on each filet. Then close the fish basket securely. Now once we've placed our snapper on the grill, we wanna make sure to place it on the hottest part of the grill over direct flame. We wanna grill it for about four to five minutes skin side down till it starts to crisp up and brown. Flip that over and then from there another three to four minutes until the garlic cloves and the lemon begin to get nice and brown and caramelized. Now if the fish is too small to securely fit in the fish basket, feel free to use your spatula and flip it once it gets to the midway point. Let it rest, remove from the basket, and enjoy. I've prepared some delicious grilled asparagus to accompany the snapper. A little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic, simple and delicious. Now that you know how to grill the snapper, you'll be hooked from here on out. Don't forget to check out our Beginner's Guide to Seafood series or hit up our blog for more tips, tricks, and recipes. Till next time.